Guys, be careful who you get in relationships with and who you spend your time, energy, and money on because it could be a real uh, anchor to your life. It could, it could really stall your growth, your progression, and it can hinder your happiness. I'm toxic, but did I cheat on you? Okay, I did, but did you die? So I was on my second deployment in Afghanistan in 2016, 2017. At this time, myself and my wife at the time, we were married for about four years. Um, during that deployment, um, it was a lot different than my first deployment. However, you know, my first deployment, we were able to talk a lot more. Uh, second deployment, we really weren't talking as much just because of uh, what we were doing on deployment didn't have the accessibility and the, and the availability to talk all the time. So when I got back from deployment in 2017, I, I was on post-deployment leave and I got a message on Facebook from a guy. And first thing he starts off saying, I am so sorry. All right. And I go, well, why, what happened? He goes, I did not know you and your wife were together. And she cheated on you. Which I thought he was joking around and just trying to start some drama. So I go laughingly, ah, oh, yeah, you're funny, blah, blah. Then he sends me a picture with them laying in bed together. Now, I was pretty irate. So I've known for a couple months now that she cheated on me. And I didn't say anything until one night we were sitting there eating dinner and she asked me, why you been so distant from me? Well, I pulled my phone out, opened the Facebook messages up, and slid my phone across the table and asked her, why do you think I've been distanced? Her reaction was priceless. I knew that I caught her just based off of her reaction. And I left that weekend to go hunting. And when I came back that Sunday, she moved out. And now two years later, after being divorced or a year and a half later, I am extremely happy where I am in life and I've learned from my mistakes and made me a better person and just doing me. Notice how he said, guys, I've learned from my mistakes and it's made me a better person. That is huge, that is critical. Even after being cheated on, even after finding his wife in bed with another man, even after being done dirty, he's still taking accountability and responsibility for his actions, for his life. That's something women don't have. They don't have that trait for the most part. They're always pointing the finger. They're always the victim. This is why I love being a man because I can look in the mirror and say, you know what? What are my shortcomings? What are my flaws? What could I have done different? What could I have done better? Women, they just go to the next relationship and the next relationship and the next relationship. Matter of fact, I've never heard a woman utter those words ever. You know, I'm sorry for cheating on you. I'm sorry for doing this. I'm sorry for doing that. It's always kind of a makeup sex type of thing or they just touch your leg, or they're like, okay, let me just, you know, give them some sex. They, they don't want to admit that they're wrong, that they done something that wasn't right, right? So here's the thing. A lot of women are going to be a burden to your life. I'm going to be honest, right? Not all women, but the vast majority are just there to receive. They have their goals. They have their vision in mind. They want to be comfortable, and, and they want to put their needs and their wants in the forefront, and yours, whatever you want is just going to be in hindsight. They don't really care about that. So when they get with you, they're like, okay, what are you going to do for me? This is why when you ask them, so what do you bring to the table? What, what am I getting from this relationship? They usually get frustrated and mad, right? So a lot of guys, they're dealing with women who are just an anchor. Uh, they're just there to uh, weigh them down. And, and it's honestly, it's just a, a pit stop for these women. They're tired of sleeping around. They're tired of hooking up. So they want to get in a relationship real quick or get a, a marriage, whatever. And after that, they want to hop right back off, right? And it's crazy because this man is fighting for his country. I told you guys, I was in the military before I was in the Navy and a lot of that crap happened. Dudes going out to sea. We go out over here. We going out to sea for two, three months. And then dudes get the news that, oh, yo, I'm smashing your wife. Yo, your wife is hooking up or the woman wants a divorce. And the dudes are on the ship kind of crying and are confused. These are grown men, guys. They're like, man, my girl, she want to leave me. She cheating on me. What could I have done differently? I mean, I'm out to sea. I'm doing what I got to do. I'm fighting for my country. Can I get a loyal woman? Just think about that. You're, you're actually serving in the military and your woman is doing you dirty. 
And the reason why most women will say they cheat because they don't want to admit that they're just bored or that they just don't have nothing to do with their life, that they're just, you know, uh, bad individuals. They say, you know, you weren't giving me enough attention. That's like the number one thing. Or you weren't there for me. Or I just needed somebody to talk to you. You weren't there. You, you didn't do this for me. I, I wanted, you know, your love and your touch. And it's like, how can I be over here providing, giving you a great life? Do what I need to do to better myself as a man and then still try to entertain you. And uh, it's listen, being in a relationship a lot of the times is tough when it comes to men, especially if you're in the military, especially if you guys uh, ha are deployed and everything like that or wherever you may be. Deal with a woman and trying to focus on uh, the task at hand. Even if you're civilian, if you, even if you're just working your nine to five. Listen, it can be a tall task because a woman has all these different needs. You got to give me attention. You got to give her validation. She needs somebody to talk to her. She Sometimes she gets bored. You got to take her over here. You got to do this. You got this. As a man, for the most part, we just want a woman who's loyal. We want sex. We want silence. And we want sandwiches, as I always say. The three S's. And that's pretty much it. But most women, they just are so needy. They want what they want. They don't really care about your needs and your desires. Here's the thing. I'm glad that he remained calm because a lot of dudes would be like, yo, man, you cheated on me. A lot of dudes think that, man, this woman is my property. You know, I'm working for her. I'm, I'm, I'm giving her a free room and board. I'm putting a roof over her head. I'm, uh, I'm putting food in her stomach. I mean, how could she do this to me? This is why when a woman cheats, it's really, really messed up because it's like, man, a guy is really just giving his all to their, to their relationship or marriage. And a woman's like, yeah, I don't really care. I'm not going to be loyal to him. And as sad as it is, but a woman is never yours. It's just your turn, especially if you're out to sea, especially if you're gone for a few days or you're into trucking and you're driving long distance. And you, you listen, you don't know what your woman is doing. But a lot of dudes are smashing, they're hooking up, they're having sex with your woman for free. Those dudes don't got to deal with any emotions, any uh, drama, anything that your wife, is, that you have to deal with her, they don't have to deal with that, right? So this is why a lot of dudes get really mad. I'm glad he remained calm. He was like, you know, look, this is what you've been doing. Uh, I caught you up. And now, I couldn't have been sitting in the house for two months with that female with my quote unquote wife or girlfriend or significant other, I could sit there like that. Listen, you got to get out. You got to leave. And here's the thing. He said he went on a hunting trip and then he came back on, a, on the, the same weekend on that Sunday. She had her bags packed. So she already had one foot in and one foot out. That's the crazy part. She was already ready to go. She was like, man, all right, whatever. She looked like she really didn't care, right? About the situation or the marriage. And a lot of women, they get married to these military men because uh, it's it's like some security for the guys. The guy's like, okay, I'm fighting for my country and, and I got a woman who's going to be loyal. You think that she's going to be loyal. I mean, I mean, she has to be. It's not like you're going to college. It's not like you're going, you know, uh, trucking or something. You're going to fight for your country. You're doing whatever. You're, you're doing a patriotic thing to do. And boom, still get smashed. Matter of fact, I can say this. It's easy to smash married women and, and women are who are in the military, military wives, because those women get bored so easy. They're on base. You know, they don't got really nothing to do. They're, they, they don't have any really real goals. They're just sitting around and, and they have the security. They have the resources. They, ha they have all of that, that the, uh, the guy the military is giving them, whatever branch he's in. So she's like, okay, I got my beta bucks, not saying all the, the military or any man who's beta who's in a relationship, but I'm saying she has the money, the resources. So she's like, okay, it's time to play now. It's time for me to get that alpha pipe. It's time for me to hook up whatever guy. Guys, be careful who you get in relationships with and who you spend your time, energy, and money on because it could be a real uh, anchor to your life. It could, it could really stall your growth, your progression, and it can hinder your happiness. I'm telling you, because not just financially, she can, uh, you know, take your money and everything like that. But spiritually, it can really scar you over time emotionally, because a lot of times dudes don't recover from that. It was like, man, I, how could she do this to me? I mean, I, I've given her money. I've done this. I've done that. And no man is perfect. But listen, men try to do basically the best that they can. Let's be honest. When we get in a relationship or marriage, we're like, OK, you know what? Let me do what I got to do to to keep this thing going. Matter of fact, in relationships, most women, they're just uh, in a passenger. 
They, they, they don't really have any uh, real cool suggestions or anything. They don't, they don't really keep the, the situation or relationship or marriage alive. It's all basically the man. And I want you to think about that. What is your woman doing to uh, keep the situation going if you're in a relationship or marriage right now? What? Is she just giving you sex? Is she kind of around the house? Is she lounging around? Or is she trying to make some plans? Is she taking out uh, some money and spending money on you? Is she, what is she doing for you right now? That's the key. Because if you just say, well, she just give me some companionship, you know, we hang out, we have sex, but who's always paying? You are. Who's always making the plans? You are. Who's always coming up with the ideas to do different things on the weekend? You are. And if you ask a yes to all three of those questions, you need to get rid of her because she's a burden. What does she bring into your life besides taking everything? She has her hands up, her palms to the sky, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give and you're just shelling out money. You're doing all these different things. And she's not doing anything for you. She's not trying to make you happy. She's not trying to do much of anything besides give you sex. And most men are like, you know, they just accept the bare minimum. Like, well, okay, you know, life isn't too bad. So as long as I'm getting some sex here and there, that, that's all cool. You don't want that life. Guys, stop settling for the bare minimum. And if even if you happen to catch your girlfriend or wife cheating, remain calm. And be just be stoic. Don't get upset or frustrated and, and lash out because your emotions as a man could land you in jail, could land you with a, a stiff penalty, right? With women, they're just like, eh, I don't care. If they get emotional, if they do this and that, you know, the, the penalty won't be as harsh as opposed to a man lashing out.